Um, just to introduce myself, my name is Paul Tustain. Um, I'm an occasional angel and uh, a regular entrepreneur. Um, I founded Bullion Vault in 2003 and then BullionVault.com in 2005, which is now a, a business with a turnover of 250 million sterling. Uh, that was to the year end, October 08. Uh, I'm going to start by paying homage to Betfair, uh, whose CEO, David Yu, was, uh, was speaking here earlier today. I was introduced to Betfair by its founder, Andrew Black, uh, who's a guy I uh, often play bridge with, and, and what a business model he had. That's a sector where the retail customer was significantly overpaying, a theme which makes the customer experience innovative and entertaining, a product which can be delivered electronically so the profits don't disappear to, to DHL and a service which builds its own barriers to entry via critical mass in liquidity. So I thought, apply the same ideas, but in a different market. And that's why I'm going to tell you about the gold market. Um, with gold, the price you see published in the, in the newspaper or, or on the internet is the spot price for the professionals. Uh, and they only trade good delivery bars like this one. Uh, there are three things you need to know about these bars. Uh, the size, they're about 11 inches long. They weigh a standard 400 ounces, which is about 12 and a half kilograms. Secondly, they were made by an accredited refiner who evaluated the, the bar's uh, purity when it was originally cast. Uh, you can see that printed on the, on the top of the bar uh, next, to the, uh, next to the maker's mark. And then thirdly, they've been kept in special accredited storage vaults uh, their whole lives, so no one questions their gold content. Now, the seller on, a, on the spot market is promising to deliver these bars from one accredited vault to another, in fact, to the buyers. And, and when his uh, vault gets the bar, the buyer pays without refining the gold all over again, which makes the whole process very cheap and very efficient. That's why the bars are called good delivery bars. But there's a problem. Those vaults don't deal with the public. And the public don't want to buy £280,000 worth of gold anyway. Um, as a result, while professionals deal gold at about a quarter of a percent for physical, private investors have been buying it as small bars or coins with no quality guarantee and therefore low resale value. And their cost of trading was uh, 8%, over 30 times the cost to the professional market. So I thought with a Betfair style model backed with transparent and accredited gold vaulting, we could reduce retail costs from 8% down to 1% and still leave room for a profit for our shareholders. Five years since launch, the service offers an internet exchange for privately owned good delivery gold. The professional market's good delivery vaulting infrastructure is underneath, giving everyone confidence that the product they're trading is rock solid. With vaults in London, New York, and Zurich, and $800 million under management, Bullion Vault runs a gold reserve materially larger than most of the world's central banks, and we're now the biggest store of privately owned investment gold in the world. Um, I noticed lots of people have, sp have spoken about their, um, their, their, uh, where their revenue comes from, their revenue model. I was going to cut out of that, because, uh, I'm get, but I'm going to do it. I'm just going to put it in. Uh, we make our money in four ways, which is commission, about 42%. We make a market in bullion ourselves online. That's about 40%. We have a very nice uh, custody model, which means that we have a subscription fee for all existing clients. That's, uh, that's high quality and that it's only 14%, but it's increasing without, without ever a step backwards. And then finally, interest. We have $100 million of uninvested client money sitting on account. Now, that used to be quite a lot, but now it's only 4% of our revenue. But uh, in more normal times, that could be 30 or maybe even 40%. Now, that was just a, an ad lib because, um, because Marco asked me to talk about the experience of being an entrepreneur. Um, so I'm going to share some of those things with you now. This is in no particular order, just lessons I've learned along the way. I, I'm assuming there are still a few entrepreneurs out there because they're the most likely to have stayed for the cocktails. So um, I, I, I hope it's relevant. Um, my, my first recommendation is that you start playing bridge. That's very important. That's how I met Andrew Black. And of course, if you do that, you'll, you might well bump into um, Warren Buffett as well, as I think that's how he spends most of his spare time, or what little he has. Um, uh, I would suggest you visit the, uh, the City Business Library here in London on London Wall, a fantastic gold mine of information for anybody who's looking to start something. Uh, make a beeline for Mintel, which um, should be every entrepreneur's uh, bedside reading. Um, be a copycat, that's fairly obvious. Uh, I freely admit that we are Betfair-style business, but selling gold instead of horse racing bets. 
Um, pay up for top tech staff. Um, I think we should, uh, I think all our tech staff, uh, the, the best ones, are going to be 10 times as productive as the average. Uh, I think we should be making them millionaires, and one of the reasons I'm here is if there are any tech staff who are miserably underpaid, then uh, certainly come and see me afterwards. I intend to make mine all millionaires. Um, if you're talking to investors, it's all right to back long shots as long as you've got a serious upside. Um, I think you must, at every stage, consider the issue of building barriers to entry. There's nothing worse than slaving away, doing all the difficult things, and as soon as, you, as you've resolved the answer, somebody can copy your entire business model and do it an awful lot more cheaply than you. But having said that, uh, with barriers to entry, beware patents. Um, the problem with patents is that uh, they cost an awful lot, they take a lot of time, they advertise your secrets to everybody else, and virtually none of us have got the funds to defend them against the big boys. So just be careful about thinking, well, you must go out there and protect yourself with patents. Read the Art of War by Sun Tzu, fantastic little book, one of the greatest management books ever written. It's incredibly short, it'll only take you about, well, a day, e easily do it in a day. It doesn't tell you how to do everything, but it does tell you what to think about. So I think that's a, a, a little gem for anybody who's uh, thinking of competing in a global marketplace. Beware Gordon Brown's success tax. Now, this is something I now know from personal experience. When you go through uh, profits of one and a half million and your profits growth rate is 160% per annum, the following year you will find the entire previous year's tax uh, profits will be consumed in your tax bill. That's because when you become a medium-sized company, and that's a size which is much smaller than I think it really should be, you're required to pay all of, uh, you're, you're required to shift from paying next year to paying current year, so you get completely stuffed uh, in terms of cash flow. So if your cash flow projection doesn't have that in, then you need to put it in there. That one caught me out. Uh, and then my last uh, thing is, uh, is get the cash that's out there uh, with all this quantitative easing. Um, cash is rapidly becoming worthless. Um, you can see that in the gold price, of course, because gold price is going better and better. But there's lots, of, uh, there's lots of private equities and venture capital firms who've got far too much cash for their own good. Now is possibly the greatest time to be pitching a great business. Um, this is a bit cheap to uh, finish with a plug or, or an endorsement, but I figure if you're going to finish with an endorsement, the best thing is to finish with Her Majesty the Queen. Uh, we got the Queen's Award, so I'll, I'll, I'll leave you to read that. There's one final little marketing pitch which is that anybody who goes to bullionvault.com to buy their gold, well, we give them free, go free gold as soon as they register. So that's uh, probably the only company in the world that's in the business of giving free gold bullion away. We only give you a gram, but it gets you started. Thank you very much. <laughs>